let's move on to the next question this is question number four so here we're asked um, can standard deviation ever be negative so let's go through what the junior tutor um, answered and we'll figure out um, whether or not st standard deviation can be negative and how we can go about getting the correct answer so the standard deviation is the quantity which shows how much a value deviates varies or disperses from its mean value so if we had um, a, a data set of values we the standard deviation is telling us how how much does this uh, do these values deviate from the mean or one value deviates from the mean for a measurable quantity x if the mean value is known and is denoted by x bar then deviation of the measured quantity is uh, written as d equals x minus x bar so measurable quantity x some value in the data set uh, if the mean value is known and is denoted by x bar so x bar is the mean the deviation is the actual value minus the mean value and that's how you get the standard deviation so the standard deviation is in is then written as the root square root of the average of the square of deviations as given below so here you do the summations of the summation of all the um, deviations for each data set and you'd uh, square them uh, and then it would give you your standard deviation since n is the number of samples therefore the term inside summation cannot be negative so n here is just how many data points you have or the sample total number of samples um, and it's saying because of uh, because n is the number of samples, therefore the term inside the summation, so this term over here, uh, cannot be a negative value. Also, by definition, standard deviation is taken as a quantity always since it shows deviation of measure quantity, which is required to be a negative value. Yep. Okay. Hence, the value of the standard deviation cannot be a negative number. It is either zero or a positive value. So essentially, what we're saying here is because n is a positive uh, number, it's uh, based on the samples. We can see from this equation for standard deviation, there's no scenario where we could actually end up um, with a positive result um, because n will be positive, and this is squared, so we'll actually end up being positive. Uh, another thing um, you should know for standard deviation is that whenever we have um, essentially as soon um, as you have two different or at least at least two different numbers in Uh, set um, that are not equal to one another, then the standard deviation will be greater than zero, so it will be positive. So this is also uh, another general rule. So for essentially all data sets, we'll always end up uh, having a standard deviation that is positive. So can standard deviation ever be negative? The answer is no. Um, and we can also kind of use the equation over here for standard deviation to um, answer the question. So we'll mark this answer as correct. And we'll move on to the next question. So this question is more of a, I guess, knowledge-based question and some t just kind of using this equation to think about um, uh, why standard deviation can be negative. You can also kind of just think about it in general terms, what does standard deviation represent? Um, and that can also kind of help you think about this question. So I'll mark this as correct. <laughs> 